John 6.26 Respondit eis Jesus, et dixit, Amen, Amen, dico vobis, quae retis me, non quia vidistis signa, sed quia manducastis ex panibus, et saturati estis. Jesus answered them and said, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you have seen signs or wonders, but because you ate of the loaves and were satisfied. So now Jesus is going to answer the crowds and his disciples, although not precisely with the information that they were hoping for. How did you get from here to there? He's going to go to the heart of the matter, which is why are you so concerned with my whereabouts? It's not for the reason that you should be. So, respondit eis, there's our dative of the person spoken to. And again, this is often kind of pleonastic, pleonastic being a fancy Greek word for sort of extra redundant and um, fulsome in language beyond what is necessary. He answered and said to them. We don't really need both of these words, but this is mirroring the Greek usage. And then we see this form that we've seen so often, so distinctive of Jesus's way of speaking. Truly, truly, I say to you, and then this is what he's going to say to them. You are now seeking me, present tense. You're looking for me. Remember, these people had been described earlier as quaerentes, people who were looking for or searching for Jesus. You are looking for me not because, and now we're going to get two because statements here, which are alternatives. So they should maybe be looking for him because they saw signs and wonders that were pointing to who Jesus is and what his message is. Not because you saw second person plural and notice that plural. We had uh, wenisti in the last verse, second person singular in the perfect tense, active, indicative. Here we have second person plural, with distis. Since you all, it's not because you all saw signs, wonders, powerful deeds, healings, and so forth, but instead because mandukastis. Now this is a syncopated form of mandukawistis. Syncopation, remember, is where a word is shortened, probably for ease of speech primarily. So this is just a regular second person plural, perfect active indicative, just like widistis, mandukawistis. Since you ate ex panibus of the loaves, from the loaves, we'd probably just say in English, you ate the loaves, you ate the bread, and you were satisfied, you were filled up, literally. This is from a verb, saturo, and it's a first conjugation verb, saturo, saturare, saturawi, saturatus. And here we have saturati estis. This is a compound verb form, second person, plural. You can see that from estis, perfect, passive. Indicative. We haven't seen a perfect passive form for a little while, but there it is. You were satisfied. You were filled up with the bread and desired no more.